awesome occasion that brings us together as fellow airmen, leaders, family, and friends. We rejoice with each graduate on this special day of achievement and celebration. And we ask you to continue to bless these young men and women who have endured many difficult weeks and faced many challenges. We thank you for the love and support given by family, friends, and loved ones that allowed this day to be attainable. We ask that you would fill them with joy as they witness their graduate complete such an amazing accomplishment. We also pray that you give the leaders and instructors a sense of fulfillment and achievement for their faithful and dedicated service to these graduates. Grant these airmen boldness to stand for truth, justice, and freedom. We pray that they will always bring honor to you, the Air Force, and to themselves as they move on from basic military training. We ask all these things in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. On behalf of the 37th Training Wing, Commander Colonel Trent Edwards, welcome to the basic military training graduation. We are honored to have with us several distinguished guests, beginning with Colonel Edwards, his wife Vanessa, Father Kelvin, and Mother Royal Lean. Today's reviewing official is the Director, Air National Guard, the Pentagon, Washington, D.C., Lieutenant General Stanley Clark and his daughter, Kelly. We are also privileged to have with us this morning the Adjutant General of Kansas National Guard, Major General Lee Tappanelli. The Commander, 482nd Fighter Wing, Homestead Air Reserve Base, Florida, Colonel Chris Funk and his wife, Lori. The Commander, 190th Air Refueling Wing, Forbes Field, Topeka, Kansas, Colonel Ron Kruger. The spouse of the Vice Commander, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base, San Antonio, Blackland, Texas, Mr. Walt Clark. The Commander, 737th Training Group, Joint Base, San Antonio, Blackland, Texas, Colonel Michelle Edmondson and her husband, Dave. Representing the Command Chief Master Sergeant, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base, San Antonio, Blackland, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Benjamin Miranda, his wife Gabby, and son Asher. The State Command Sergeant Major for the Kansas National Guard, Command Sergeant Major Scott Hayward. The State Command Chief Master Sergeant for the Ohio Air National Guard, Command Chief Master Sergeant Philip Smith. The Command Chief Master Sergeant 190th Air Refueling Wing, Forbes Field, Topeka, Kansas, Command Chief Master Sergeant Patrick Moore. The Superintendent, 737th Training Group, Joint Base, San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Richard Sutherland. Although time does not permit us to introduce all our distinguished guests, the 37th Training Wing is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. The airmen who will pass in review today have completed a demanding eight-week program that provides Air Force units throughout the world with trained airmen. Part of this training includes the time-proven concepts of military customs and traditions, of which this parade is a vital part. All graduating airmen will also march over the enlisted heroes walk. They will lead the way for the thousands of airmen that will follow, all reflecting on our enlisted heritage, tradition of honor, and our legacy of valor. Our Commander of Airmen is Staff Sergeant Michael McKenney, Military Training Instructor, 326 Training Squadron. General Clark will review today's ceremony.
gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated.
737th Training Group, United States Air Force, Joint Base, San Antonio, Lackland, Texas. Subject, Honor Flight Streamer. The Honor Flight Streamer is awarded to the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 590, for their significant accomplishments demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of 25 August 2014 through 17 October 2014. Signed, Michelle Edmondson, Colonel, United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of Ruffles and Flourishes. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating airmen passing in review today represent a portion of the 35,000 recruits who will complete basic military training this year. The 737th Training Group provides all recruits the essential military training 
become motivated members of the enlisted corps of the greatest air force in the world. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, and discipline of the airmen. They have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Air Force. All warrior airmen of character have participated in a rigorous competition for the coveted Award of Honor Flight, a significant accomplishment which only one flight per graduating class is able to achieve. Honor Flight can only be awarded to a flight that achieved excellence in all facets of basic military training. Today, Flight 590 from the 321st Training Squadron is recognized as the Honor Flight for this graduating class. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass and review, they will march over the enlisted heroes walk. The airmen recognized on the papers have been awarded our nation's highest honors representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States Air Force in armed conflict, including present-day operations in Afghanistan. They include seven medals of honor, 24 Air Force crosses, and 162 silver stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all airmen to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by the 737th Training Group's Drama Bugle Corps, 322nd Training Squadron, Flights B607 and B608. These flights are performing today under the direction of Staff Sergeant Adam Brotz, hometown Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. These trainees are also in basic military training, but have been hand-selected to perform for ceremonies of this type. We would like for you to notice our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and re render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. Once the flags have passed in review, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flights as they pass in review. Five. 
from the 326 training squadron, led by Staff Sergeant Nathaniel Carroll, hometown Rubenville, California. Hey! Warrior Flight 586 from the 326 Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Daryl Lyles, hometown Chicago, Illinois. Flight 589 from the 321st Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Mark Murphy, hometown Kentland, Indiana. Hey! Hey! Honor Flight 590 from the 321st Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Angeli Cardoza, hometown Perry, Utah. <laughs> the flights selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags are from the 331st Training Squadron. Flight 587 and Warrior Flight 588, led by Technical Sergeant Jamie Bennett, hometown Timberlake, North Carolina, and Technical Sergeant William Peck, hometown Portland, New York. The B Squadron Commander is Staff Sergeant Christine Johnson, Military Training Instructor, 321st Training Squadron, Hometown, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Flight 591 from the 322nd Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Thomas Dow, Hometown, Minot, North Dakota. Flight 592 from the 322nd Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Veronica Castillo, hometown Phoenix, Arizona. Flight 593 from the 326 Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Tara Kendall, hometown Seawarren, New Jersey. Hey. Flight 594 from the 326 Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant James Pedro, hometown Charleroi, Pennsylvania. Hey. Flight 595 from the 321st Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Aaron Hill, hometown Holman, Wisconsin. Hey! Flight 596 from the 321st Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Stephanie Dirksen, hometown Hobson, Montana.
ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the United States Air Force song.
we would like to take a moment to congratulate all of our squadron honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all airmen graduating in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence these airmen displayed throughout basic military training earned them this outstanding distinction. As the airmen march forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank the families and friends who are here in support of the airmen graduating today. Your words of encouragement helped motivate these airmen through eight weeks of basic military training. On behalf of the United States Air Force and Air Force Basic Military Training, we extend our thanks to the many families and friends of America's airmen for the support of your airmen and the greatest air power the world has ever known. General Clark will now come forward and address our graduated airmen. service, dedication, and honor 
people with purpose and motivation. It starts here today with what you're doing, going into our airport. You'll find the names of Air Force Medal of Honor recipients on the monument over to my right. Names like Etzenberger, Etzenberger, Levito. But more recently, the shoes of heroic airmen have touched this field. Airmen like Sergeant Sears, Sparks, Matthews, Marble, Senior Airman Bradley Smith, just to name a few, all recipients of Silver Star. All of these airmen have lived the American Airmen's Creed. To never leave an airman behind, to never falter, to never fail. Soak up this moment. The shoes are touching the ground where the shoes of warriors who came before you rested. They went on to become our nation's sword and shield, century and avenger, and some lost their lives defending our country. Airman's Creed, you learned these words, but these words were earned by airmen who came before you. You now have the privilege to be faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. Your future is guided by heroes of the past, leaders of today, and fellow airmen who have answered our nation's call. You are warriors and truly have earned the title American Airmen. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest airmen? I believe you are. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. General Clark will now administer the oath of enlistment. I state your name. Aye. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Lieutenant General Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as our newest airmen recite the Airmen's Creed and remain in place for the departure of our official party. I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I am an American Airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. I am an American Airman, guardian of freedom and justice, my nation's sword and shield. It's century and adventure. I defend my country with my life. I am an American Airman. Leave it, leader, forward. I will never leave an airman behind. I will never falter. Yeah!
As you from the bleachers, from your left to your right, the first two flights are from the 331st Training Squadron, Warrior Flight 583 and Flight 584. The next two flights are from the 326th Training Squadron, Flight 585 and Flight 586. They are followed by Flight 589 and Honor Flight 590 from the 321st Training Squadron. Next are Flights 591 and 592 from the 322nd Training Squadron. They are followed by Flight 593 and 594 from the 326 Training Squadron. The last two flights of passing review today are from the 321st Training Squadron, Flights 595 and 596. Airmen in the state flag mask, Flight 587 and Warrior Flight 588 from the 331st Training Squadron will be released to their visitors at the equipment locker to your left after they secure the flags. Please, please be careful while exiting the bleachers and while moving onto the grassy areas. For your safety, we also ask that only use the stairs to exit the bleachers. All airmen are now released to their visitors. Thank you for your attendance and enjoy the rest of your stay at Joy Base, San Antonio, Lackland, Texas.